What's up? It's your boy Big Smurf from the Wolfstock. Back with another video, you heard me. Y'all already know how we rocking like a cutoff stocking in penitentiary trying to get ways. You dig what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. Man, we just sliding in as W211. Headed to, uh, to the bank, you know. Got to do a couple of stops. You feel me? Get this day going. You dig what I'm saying? A little story time. Um, we gonna we gonna we gonna take it all the way back to the first vehicle, man. It was a '97 Chrysler LeBaron. You feel me? Hey, man, you don't come tell me nothing, man. I ain't got that car. We got that car painted from a, a place called Earl Shaw. Anybody like from Louisiana, New Orleans, y'all know Earl Shy is like a, uh, it's like a Mako competitor. And guys, when I tell y'all, man, we got this car painted for four hundred dollars. You heard me, four hundred. Candy apple red, guys. When I tell you, man, I was so, mind you, this this is the first car, so I was so happy. To go like hit the block and roll on the homies, you heard me? Man, I go around, I go around the way. All my little partners like, oh, that boy spurt done drop. Then they get closer, they like, man, you got all this urge peel and all these bubbles on the paint. And oh man, this, that, and the third. Man, I was 38 hot, you feel me? But you know, you you grow from you grow from things like that, man. And uh yeah, guys, that was my first car, you feel me? It was a uh, Chrysler LeBaron, a 97. Uh, from that, I went to uh, a 97 Bonneville. It was green. I had put me some dubs on that jerk. And a little decal on the front uh, of the hood. Man, you couldn't tell me I wasn't stepping, bro. You feel me? I had me uh, two 12s in the trunk. Man, you feel me? You know, and that was that was the whip. You feel me? That was that was my OG whip. You know, so like, <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, man, that was like my OG whip right there. And then uh, after that, let me see, let me see, guys. After that, I had got a O3 uh, Buick Sable. Matter of fact, I still have this car. It's still sitting in my garage up until this day. Uh, but yeah, I had got an 03 Buick Sable. It was all white, 5% tents on it. And uh, had some 22s on it, guys. Man, when I say the first, the first week, my girl ran on the curb. She hit a curb, tackled the rim. Uh, man, she actually tore it up. And I cried, guys. Like, first time I cried, I cried. And um, I kept that car. I got the rims redid. But they never was the same. You know, I had this little, this little yellow little strip on it, I guess, from when they, like, welded back or whatnot. But it never was the same, guys. Um, so I just parked it. I just parked it. Right now, I don't know where the keys at. It's just sitting in my garage. Um, from there, we went to... Uh, what else? What else? It's a couple of more cars, man. You know, I got my girl some cars. And um, then I got my hands on a, 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 a Charger. Dodge Charger. 2012 Dodge Charger V6 model. Oh, man. Hey, I was too cool, you feel me? I felt like I was the coolest, the coolest, the coolest person on earth. I mean, this before the 392s and the Hellcats and shit was popping. You know, all I had to worry about was the niggas and the RTs and shit pulling up on side of me at that time. But, um, yeah, bro, I had the little charger. And um, I put me some 22s on there. I put me some black 22s on there. I dropped, I dropped some photos uh other cars too like you feel me and um uh, man i rode that for like a couple of years and the lifters went to tip ticking so i got out of that 
And um, yeah, we traded that in, and um, I wound up getting my wife a Malibu. Wound up getting my wife a. Uh, Yeah, you guys, it was a Malibu. I believe it was a Malibu. Got her a Malibu and I brought me a cash car. I brought a, a 03 G35 Infinity. Yeah, man, I brought that little sucker. I want to say I paid like mm, three, three grand for it. It needed a little work. You know, I recall going, to, I remember going like to the local picking pools and shit, getting seats and door panels. And uh, it just had this little jerk with it, guys. It's like I brought so many mass airflow sensors and I wound up selling that. And I sold that car for like $3,900, guys. I had put some rims on it. A friend of mine, my homeboy, had looked out for me, man. You know, had some wheels, got some wheels, and we put the wheels on now. It was a set of 19. Um, man, and it looked good. And I rode that car for like, I don't know, I want to say maybe a year, and I sold it. And I sold it. Then I went and brought the, uh, the E350. Actually, what we riding in right now, I brought this car, and which was about two years ago. I brought this car, and uh, I got my wife a Fusion, a Ford Fusion. And, uh, yeah, you guys, so, you know, I've been having this hill car ever since uh, 2018. I want to, I really think 2017, around the end of 2017. But, uh then the PPP, the PPV came into the family uh, this year. I want to say like March of this year. And uh, next, I don't know what's going to be next, man. I want to get me like a coupe, a two-door coupe. Uh, actually, I like them. I would like to get a, uh, another G35, but this time just the coupe. Man, that little car was fast, man. I had some fun in that car. It's so many memories in that car, man. I had, man, it was a blast. You feel me? But, uh, yeah, like I say, man, it's your boy Big Smurf from the Whip Stop. I just thought I'd get on here and just give y'all a little video, man, of the vehicles over time that I done had and shit like that. Man, I thank y'all for rocking out with me. Y'all jump down in the comments, leave me a comment. Hit that notification, press those. Most importantly, sub. Hit that sub, rock out with your game. Stay safe, stay dry.